Hey guys, Trina here, back with a sketchbook project today. Um, working in with some Marabou art crayons, as you can see here. I'm also going to be using Arteza paints for the first time, and some a couple of uh, marker pens to add in some bold marks. So to begin with, I'm going to get my big giant pencil out, and I'm going to sketch in some just random shapes to get myself prepared and ready to draw and ready to paint. I like starting all of my paintings this way. I'm using the uh, sepia marker here to draw in some bold lines and then I'm going to add in my um, larger crayon later. Now I'm going to mix up a blue green color here to add into to begin the painting. These are Arteza colors. It's the first time I am working with them and so I'm kind of excited about that. To see how the, these work out. I like how bright and colorful they are and I really like this color. Um, sort of a seafoam green turquoise color. I'm using a brush here to apply it on pretty loosely. I'm going in with my catalyst wedge and uh, moving the paint around just a little bit. I didn't really do much, but uh, so now I'm going to add in some Azo Gold from my uh, Golden Acrylic High Flow inks, and I really like how that spread out really well with the Catalyst Wedge. That is a transparent paint. Now I'm going to add in this yellow okra from Arteza, and this is a non transparent, uh, opaque paint. Um, but when you add it with the catalyst wedge, it does seem to make it a little, appear a little transparent only because of how thinly the paint is being applied. So next I'm adding in some white and scratching back and making some lines as I like to do to excavate back into the work. Adding in a bit of the Rose Arteza color, which is sort of a pinkish magenta, almost like a, it's very magenta. I like the color combination of that pink with the yellow okra. I think that is a wonderful color combination, but I tend to like ugly colors, so <laughs> ugly color combinations are my thing. I like odd out of the ordinary color combinations. So I'm adding in a bit more white um, to bring up some more layers. So I'm preparing to add in more layers into the work. If you haven't seen any of my other videos with acrylic pouring, please like and subscribe and check out the video above. So adding in more white, always more white. Um, and the reason I do this is because I like to give myself a clean layer to work with more colors on. And the white applied really thinly you can still see some of the layers behind but it also defines the space just a little bit more i'm adding in some more of that yellow okra color to bring back another layer i like how the okra looks against the green and i as i said before the pink some more of that blue color that blue green color Now I'm using my Marabou crayon to add in uh, this blue-green color, which is pretty much the same as the, Mar the Arteza paint that I mixed up earlier, which is kind of rare that I actually get them that close. Um, adding in a little bit more of the rose and creating a few more transparent layers on top. Okay. 
And I like how this is coming along so far. I like the layers that I've created. I like the texture that's being created. Um, it's kind of hard to tell in this video that there are lots of layers, but hopefully the photo I take at the end, you'll be able to see uh, more in depth with how many layers there are on this piece. And again, I'm just sketching, I'm just playing. Um, this work will inform my other work when I begin a new painting. Here I am adding some black permanent marker for some really bold lines. And it's important for me to do these sketches so that I, when I begin a new work on canvas or paper, that I am, I have a knowledge of the, of the materials that I'm working with, that I have knowledge of how the materials work together and the marks that I want to make. So these are all very important reasons why I sketch um, and to play because play is fun. I like to play. So adding in some more white with the brush. And the last thing that I'm going to do is add in this magenta color, this rose gold, or I'm sorry, <laughs> rose pink color. Trying to add more lines with the catalyst wedge. I'm trying to get in a feel for how this tool works and I'm pretty excited about that. I'm excited to figure out how to work it even better going forward. So you'll see a lot of the catalyst wedge coming up in the next few videos, I am sure. Scratching in, making more marks, creating textures. I'm going to add in a bit of this magenta for one last sweep of pink color and a bright color. And I think this piece is almost done. So I wanna thank you for stopping by and watching my video. Make sure to like and subscribe and I will see you in the next one. Have a wonderful day, bye.